from Patience and Love. So Patience and Love is a company that embroiders, um, patches, and leash wraps, and a lot of really cool stuff for service dogs. They probably have other things as well, but we were particularly interested for the service dog things. And so I'm excited to open it. Fairby is very excited too. She loves to open stuff. So we are so excited. Um, but before we open it, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's joining us. And if you're interested in following us on Instagram, therapy is therapy underscore fable. And I am knit in the zone. Those will be linked to love for you. Therapy had a niche. And let's get started. So I'm excited. Um, this is my first, this is our first patience and love um, stuff. So it's our first order from them. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm excited. I'm already really excited about the purple packaging, which is funny. And then also, um, before I even look at it, hold on, wait a minute. I know we're excited, <laughs> I know. Um, also, before I look at it, I wanna say this. I told her like the colors that I liked the best out of everything, and I just told her to make them match, but I don't know what they look like because I gave her a few options of things that I basically Basically, I said like three color combinations. I just told her to pick what looked best because I know she makes these. So I figured that would be the best thing to do rather than me trying to guess and figure out like, you know, what I felt like would look like is best because stuff on your screen is a little bit different than, you know, stuff in your uh, real life. So anyways, so I, it's kind of a little bit of a surprise to me as well. So I know, hold on, quit grabbing it. Stop grabbing it here, sit so I can sit. So the first thing I see, this is a leash wrap. Oh yes, okay, this looks so freaking good. All right, so this is our leash wrap. So this actually clips onto Farabee's leash and um, it just has like the stop, stop, don't talk, uh, no petting and no eye contact on it. So I'm really excited about this. And the thing, all right, so I knew it was gonna be purple, but I didn't know if it was gonna be purple and dark purple or purple and pink or purple and a different color pink like there are some options there so I'm really excited about this oh yeah all right so this is really cool and then so the thing that I've um, really seen online that I was excited about is there's a little pocket in here so I thought that was cool if you wanted to put something in here you could not that we're probably gonna put anything in there but you know if you had like something little you need to put in there you could like um, maybe your dog's some type of information or something. I don't know. So this is really cool. And her stuff is beautiful. I've only seen it online, so I didn't know what to expect, but this is so pretty. And then her fabric on the inside, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really beautiful, um, it's like a, I don't know, I don't know what you call that, but it's a really pretty pattern. And then she has her logo, she has a little tag. Oh, that's so cute. Hold on, we have to put that on your leash. So I'm assuming I don't know, of course, because I haven't seen. And okay, yeah, it's gonna match. All right, so cool. So a few little business cards, and then this is really nice. Her pouch is coming a freaking bag. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So, unfortunately, it's sticking to the pouch, which is really going to make me sad because I didn't want to stick to the pouch. So, I got her to add Velcro on to the pouch, I mean to the uh, patch, not pouch, to the patch. And so, it's kind of sticking to the inside of the pouch, which is not her fault at all. It is life. So, I'll put that over there, but I'm really excited about that bag, too. All right, so this is, all the strings you see, by the way, are just on the back of the pouch because it got stuck to that bag. It's not to do with her work. So this is our big patch to go on the back of her vest. 
Um, so this is like a huge, huge, huge patch and it has um, service dog, no touch, no talk, no eye contact, no pictures. Ignore me, I'm working, it's not nice to stare. Yes, I'm so excited. And this patch is huge. So, because I like to sew my own vest for her. What are you licking? Don't lick your tummy on the internet. Don't lick your tummy for the camera. Uh-uh, no, look at this. No, therapy. How long have you been doing that? Don't do that. No, silly. This is her silly time, apparently. Um, it's in the afternoon, so she's having a little bit of a silly goose time. Okay, so <clears throat> like I was saying before I realized my dog was touching body parts weird. Um, <laughs> so this is a five by five patch, and this is actually bigger than any of the places I have to put patches. So I was waiting for this to get here so I could see what colors it actually was. And then I'm going to sew Farabee a vest with um, a space big enough for this to go straight in the middle of her back. And I'm very, very excited about that because I think this will just get a lot of attention as far as hopefully not, you know, in a negative way, but hopefully this will like stop the people who come up and, and start to touch your dog or whatever. So I'm hoping between these two things, this on my leash and this on my dog. I'm hoping that'll be enough. I also thought this would be good to maybe go on the front of um, her vest. Like, cause I have, it is for you, you're right, but you're not gonna grab it. It's not for you like that. I thought this might be good to go on the front of her vest on that front strap, um, you know, so that it has some like stop signage up there too. But yeah, I'm really excited. These are so beautiful. Um, so I believe she's the hot pink and then it's definitely lavender fabric and then I think it must be the hot pink thread. And I'm so excited about it. Look how big that is on her. It's like huge in a good way. <laughs> so I love it. It's like as big as Fairby's head. So awesome. I'm very, very excited. Um, I really doubt that Samantha from Patience and Love is watching this, but if you are, these are gorgeous. We absolutely love them. I love them. I know Farabee loves them, or she will love them. So thank you. These are awesome. We love them. So anyways, well, that is all we have for you guys today. It was a super quick unboxing video. Like I said, it wasn't um, really a major thing probably to anyone else but i'm excited and because it was a surprise to me kind of you know that was super fun but i think that um that stuff will look really good on a lot of our colors that we usually use i wear a lot of white stuff like i said some gray it's kind of pastels are kind of my palette that i gravitate towards so i think for the most part Farabee's vest that we generally gravitate towards Whenever it's not, um, you know, 4th of July weekend, there are purples, lavenders, um, you know, like a lot of really light colored stuff. So those are going to look great on her vest. I'm very excited. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been uh, entertaining, I guess. <laughs> it's definitely not educational this time. Um, but if you're interested in checking out... Um, her shop, it is patienceandlove.com. She's Patience and Love on Etsy. And then she also has a Facebook, which is patienceandlove.143. So that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome weekend.